how many shades of brown are there or how many do you know colors that predominantly relate to the earth graduating from almond cafe noir the puffs sage siennas india red raw umber burnt umber bister bowl coffee mocha black syrup bone brass bronze cafe au lait champagne peanut wood pecan caramel cinnamon penny cedar chocolate brunette the ochres chromes all of these are some variation of browns and the artist of this work sayed haider raza knows how to use every shade in the palette think about it raza is a brown man in france it's 1983 and he's thinking of home india a theme that repeats itself multiple times over raza's career but why it might seem obvious to you now but we move towards bright colors when we are filled with energy and happiness and how we move towards dull colors when we are sad well carl jung was one of the pioneers who studied these colors and their effects on the human mind something you take for granted now something similar is happening here the artist of this painting raza is going through a phase in his artistic career his very own 50 shades of brown he finds the european sky depressing as the weather is usually damp and cold with only a few sunny days as opposed to the vivid indian sky where the sun is smiling at him it is not a tropical country and as a result he is eating palatable and cold food alone with no company the world seemed a gloomy place for him as compared to his other previous paintings i think somewhere he feels extremely cautious about how much of his emotions he wants out there expressed on the canvas keeping something almost not to be revealed these colors are predominantly related to the earth as this was the time when his interests shifted back to the terrain and colors of the land of his birth madhya pradesh symbolizing the majestic mountains highlighted by the touches of greens that represent the vegetation the yellow and white evoke the sky i feel that the artist is somewhere along the lines of cesar in which he is trying to capture omnipresent nature because of the similarities in which they try to resolve nature into simple geometric forms and the meticulously arranged brush strokes just look at it are these flowers at all why did he an abstract artist name this painting white flower is it an optical tease or just word play do you even see this flower do you think raza consciously painted a white impressionistic flower i guess we'll never know the very important concept of prakriti and purush is reinforced here through the triangles two important principles belonging to the samkhya school of indian philosophy prakriti is nature while purusha is spirit the triangles formed by his diagonals are reminiscent of the satpura range of central india and are reflective of raza's uva of his geometry and cosmological symbology to communicate his vision of nature and the universe all of this is happening in one painting it tells us not only about the feelings of raza but also takes us closer to his philosophy in life and that the never ending query of his motherland which has been thoroughly explored here is still alive we'd like to thank the raza foundation for this video please like comment and please share this video thank you